Tolotius is a star journalist, like you said, 33 years old. He won uh, many awards for his work as a journalist. And now it turns out that he faked uh, most of his stories. Uh, he worked mostly for the prestigious magazine uh, Der Spiegel, but his work was also published abroad. And um, nearly all of his reports are works of fiction. So, as you can imagine, this is a huge scandal in Germany. Uh, Der Spiegel used to be as trustworthy and as uh, fact-checking and uh, yeah, trustworthy as maybe the BBC or the New York Times. And now they are faced with this uh, huge scandal. So they are playing the card of transparency. They are promising to investigate, to reinvestigate all her stories and to change, obviously, uh, how things work in, uh, inside uh, the, the magazine. And uh, it was another uh, Spiegel reporter uh, Juan Moreno, uh, freelancer, who discovered this, that Velocius was lying in his stories and uh, like all whistleblowers, Moreno at the beginning had lots of difficulties convincing his boss and nearly faced uh, being uh, fired uh, over his uh, accusations against this star journalist. Yeah, the, rep the reputational damage exactly. <laughs> is enormous. Oh, yes. Tell us a little bit more about the, the actual embezzlement charges that are being brought against him. Well, so the fake stories, that was the first uh, big uh, news. And then the second news is the, uh, are these embezzlement charges. In 2016, Relotius wrote a very touching report about two siblings, Syrian siblings, uh, living in Turkey, uh, orphans. And uh, many readers were touched by this story and asked how they could help. So he told them uh, to send uh, money uh, to him. And so uh, this money uh, didn't go to the children, but ended up on his private bank account. And, uh, and also it turns out that these children don't really exist like he portrayed, he portrayed them. The boy exists, but he's not an orphan. And the girl is just a product of his imagination. Oh so Der Spiegel will have to work very hard in order to gain back the trust of their readers. Absolutely.